Problem number one states the doctor ordered 650 milligrams of Tylenol to be given. The supply on hand is 325 milligram tablets. How many tablets would you give? To solve this problem, let's first set up what our goal is. The question is asking for number of tablets, and as we proceed through solving this problem, we'll keep that in mind. To begin a problem using dimensional analysis, we will always start with the doctor's orders expressed as a fraction. So here you see the 650 milligrams over 1. Next, we will find a conversion factor fraction such that it allows us to convert from milligrams into tablets for this example. So we'll multiply it by a fraction that will cancel out our current unit of milligrams. To do so, we'll have to place the milligrams in the denominator of this conversion fraction. The problem tells us that each tablet contains 325 milligrams of Tylenol. These two equivalent values, when expressed in a fractional form with one quantity in the numerator and one in the denominator, create a special one. Multiplying by one doesn't change a value, but in this case it will allow us to convert from one unit to the other. In fraction multiplication, if we have a common factor in the numerator and the denominator, as is the case here with milligrams, they cancel out because their value is equal to 1. To multiply fractions together, we multiply numerators for the new numerator and multiply denominators together for the new denominator. Here we have our answer, but in simplified form, the last step will be to divide the numerator, 650, by the denominator, 325. The unit for this answer is in tablets, which was our goal, and when we do the division, the quotient gives us a final answer of two tablets. Problem number two states the order is prednisone 10 milligrams, P-O-T-I-D. The stock supply tablets are labeled 2.5 milligrams. How many tablets should be given? Again, to help us solve the problem, let's set the goal, which is to answer the question, and in this case, it's asking us how many tablets. We'll begin with the doctor's order, expressed as a fraction, 10 milligrams over 1 is equivalent to the 10 milligram doctor's order. Again, we're looking to convert milligrams into tablets and need to find a conversion factor fraction that will cancel out milligrams which are currently in the numerator. That means uh, in our conversion factor fraction we need to have milligrams in the denominator. The problem states that a tablet contains 2.5 milligrams of prednisone. These equivalent values will arrange as a fraction with one value in the numerator and the denominator for a special one. Multiplying by one does not change a value, but it allows us to cancel out common factors and convert the order from milligrams into tablet, which was the desire for this problem. Simplifying further, we'll multiply numerators, multiply denominators for the results shown, and last step, determine the quotient by dividing 10 by 2.5 for a final answer of four tablets. Now this problem had P-O-T-I-D. The P-O is Latin for per as, which means by opening. The T-I-D stands for tear in D, or three times a day. We just calculated that per order it will be administer of four tablets to the patient. If we are looking at the quantity for a day with the orders of POTID, translating into three times per day, we'll take our per dosage and multiply it by three to determine a dosage per day, which in this case, four times three gives us 12 tablets.